Sometimes wealth, not the greatest wealth, but wealth comes from unexpected occupations. When the Industrial Revolution came in, there was, there's these side phenomena that come in with each revolution. And with the Industrial Revolution, the world found itself shipping things different places. They shipped vegetables and wood and products that were made, half made, the parts. They shipped things back and forth and back and forth. Everything they shipped, they had a wrap. They didn't have containers. There was a tremendous demand for rope. It had been a good sized demand for rope for sailing ships, but now the demand was big because everything had to be tied up, wrapped up, and shipped. And there's only two places to grow sisal, which is the fundamental ingredient in rope. One was in Africa and one was in this bump in Mexico that many people call the Yucatan Peninsula. That's sort of its name, but it's actually made up of three states. One's called Yucatan, one's called Campeche, and the other's called the Quintana Roo. And these sisal farms, I mean, it's, a t it's really desert. It's not a very pleasant place to live. I mean, the beaches are nice, but the inland is not so nice. It's tough, hot. But they could grow sisal, and they had these haciendas. That's where the hacienda came from. With their outbuildings of schools, and places for the manager and the children, and all the worker bees that work there, and their internal little railways for cutting down the sisal and taking it to port, et cetera, et cetera. And there were hundreds of these beautiful haciendas all through there. Insular, each having a complete life of its own, their own music rooms and things of that sort. And more millionaires in the world lived there than any other place in the world. And then the need for sisal went down to nothing, almost. And they all fell into ruin. A few have come up back up as hotels now. But the economics of a rope to tie up some food or some products made millionaires in a funny little uncomfortable place in the world. And then it went away. Now, I think that's interesting because that will happen again. Everything that we think, like the fax machine, is going to be here forever, isn't. And I think you design with that quality, that the excitement of that insecurity in everything you come up with, that you know that there's an excitement that it'll be around and then it'll change into something else. I find that interesting not threatening. I find it part of history. As I find Larky part of history, the volcano, I find this part of history. And that you think of a world like that, of clean water and its effects, of living a little longer, longer and its effect. Not just celebratory, but its effect. And what do you design in this ongoing change of things? And how do you understand it, diagram it, and explain it? I'm Richard Saul Werman. Subscribe to Thinker.